Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to my video. And this week's episode is the Tencent Drama Rundown list that I promised from episode 43 of C Drama News and Updates. I said that we touched upon a couple, but there's quite a lot of big ones that they release new trailers and new posters for. So let's just jump on into it. As usual, I'll leave all the names of the dramas listed in the description box below as well as my playlist to other videos that you might have missed in this series so you can catch up later make sure to subscribe like comment and let's just jump on into it so first we have ancient love poetry this is rumored to be airing this week actually or to next week so around the 16th 17th to the end of June. This drama has Zhou so Dong Yu and Shu Kai as the leading actors. If you don't know, Zhou so Dong Yu is a huge movie actress. She's won multiple awards and is known for her great acting. So I have high hopes for this drama. Over the past week, they've been releasing so many stills and photos, also posters of this drama. So I think the rumors are quite possible that it can air like at the end of this week. Ancient Love Poetry is a romance fantasy shansha drama which consists of immortalities, reincarnations, and things like that. The story follows a woman who sacrifices herself over a trial that lasted over 60,000 years. She wakes up many years later with memories of what happened to her and now she's trying to find back her former lover and they have to sacrifice a lot for each other on the way. This sounds like it's a bit on the melodramatic side of things, but we'll have to wait and see. Although I love this genre so much, there's not a lot of dramas that does it well, except for, you know, the big ones like Ashes of Love, Ten Miles of Peach Blossom, and Love and Redemption. Aside from that, there's actually not too many dramas that I thought did a really, really great job. And it's one of my favorite genres, so I'm excited to see more if it's in good quality. The next drama that I'm anticipating which is currently filming it's who rules the world starring yang yang and zhao lu si. although there were photos leaked online and we've seen the two in costume before we never really got an official poster and it looks great there's even a teaser up and i'm dying for this one i love zhao lu si, but especially with historical romances that are more on the non-rom-com sides i love her rom-coms don't get me wrong but i think this one will give us everything from romance to strong female lead vibes fighting action scenes wuxia and of course i love yang yang as well the second couple i believe or the supporting role cast looks quite promising too we have xuan lu and lai yi as the two supporting leads the summary for this is a little bit confusing but this is about two people who have basically the same names yang yang's character's name is hei feng shi while the female lead is bai feng shi i believe this is an enemies to lovers but over time they end up falling in love and rescuing the world Another fun fact and good news about this is the director is quite well known for this genre. He did Ancient Love Poetry, which we just talked about, as well as Love and Redemption. Let's talk about another Zhao Lusu drama. We have a female student arrives at the Imperial College. They recently shared a new poster of Zhao Lusu and Shu Kai Chang. This is a historical rom-com reverse harem drama that follows a girl who enters a school and ends up being the only female in the school. I really like this premise and I've tried a lot of C dramas in the past with this, the one with Ju Jingyi and Song Wei Long, but the plot was lackluster. Hopefully this isn't the case for this drama and I have high hopes that this one will be good and I'll watch it all the way through. Also, this drama was filmed a little bit of a while back, so hopefully we can see it in 2021. I'm honestly excited for all of these dramas, but in the modern section, I think You Are My Glory is the one I'm most anticipating. This stars Yang Yang and Dilraba. Tencent just really knows how to choose the pairings because they all look great together. This is a story that follows an aerospace engineer but at the same time, he's also a gaming expert. She asked him to become her gaming coach and connect with him. They actually met a long time ago in high school where she had a crush on him, but never got a chance to confess her feelings. A lot of fans are excited to see Yang Yang in another e-gaming role. 
And also a fun fact about this is that the writer is the same screenwriter as Love O2O and the drama Boss and Me. Both are very cute and well-received dramas. Another big drama to look forward to this summer or at the end of the year is Meng Hua Lu or A Dream of Splendor starring Chen Xiao and Liu Yifei or Crystal Liu. This is a historical romance drama, but what's interesting and makes this one stand out is that it focuses on the female center plot. So there's three sisters. We have Crystal Liu's character, Ado Liu, and Jelly Lin's character. It follows the female lead where she moves to Beijing to save Jelly Lin's character who has been cheated on in her marriage and abused. They run away together and end up making a small tea house where she meets the male lead and they eventually fall in love. They also share new posters of She and Her Perfect Husband starring Shu Kai and Yang Mi. This is a friendship romance family drama. It is about a older woman and younger man contract marriage relationship. Both characters end up in a similar situation though where due to different circumstances and people in their life they try to work it out and actually register for marriage even though they're totally against the idea so they thought that this will give them freedom and help them with their personal relationships with their parents and exes but of course they will eventually get to know each other more and fall in love another romance modern drama upcoming to look forward to is Lie to Love. This stars Cheng Xiao and Lo Yunxi. Despite the cuteness of the drama based off of the synopsis, there seems to be a revenge plot involved. This is about the main female lead who ends up feeling wronged for a lot of things that led to destroy her relationship and her family. All the clues point to the male lead who is responsible. In order to investigate the truth, she decides to have fake amnesia and then return to the male lead side where he was super in love with her. She blamed the male lead for a long time but eventually fall in love with him and then she realizes that it was all a misunderstanding and then she has to win back his love. Tencent also released new photos for the drama The Bond. This is a 50 episode life family drama which stars Bayou, Lorena Song, Mao Xiaotong, Zhang Wenyi, and Zhou Yiran. The Bond highlights the strong relationship between five siblings who only have each other after their mom passes, leaving them alone dealing with a selfish father. They all take different paths and directions in life, but the Bond shows that no matter how hard times are or how much changes throughout the years, they will always have each other to rely on. This sounds really good and heartwarming. Bayou is one of my favorite actors and I'm sure he's going to play the big brother role so well. It also sounds really refreshing. We don't get too many of these stories. Most of the time they're kind of boring. I'm praying that this will end up being good, especially since I'm hesitant about the 50 episode thing, but they might cut it down near the time when they air it. Um, I guess we just have to wait and see. The next drama is a production that really surprised me because so far for most of these dramas I've heard of them before and I've been keeping track of them. This one is called Our Time starring Wu Lei and Neo Ho. This is a bromance, business, life, and friendship drama about two young college students in the early 90s who become a part of the first ever groups of entrepreneurs in the internet age. This tells their stories and struggles throughout their entire lifetime while they're in school and how they met in college and their startup days to when they become successful. About this drama, there's been a recent confirmation and statements by the director and screenwriter saying that this will be around 38 to 40 episodes. And as of right now, it's still in the post-production stage where they're almost done. They're on the last batch of episodes and adding the final touches and final effects to it. And they also have to relook at everything again before it's confirmed to be aired. But they said that hopefully it will be online in July. 
And last but not least, let's end it with something amusing that was trending. Zhang Zaihan wore a shirt during his live stream. And a lot of people thought that there was some illusion on it because it looks like he was hugging a cushion or a pillow the whole time. Take a look at the photo and see for yourself. I thought this is really funny. And he even was poked fun at at one of his recent award shows when they mentioned this. Anyways, that is it for today's video. So many new dramas. Which one are you most excited for and why? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.